Hey everybody, once again it's your boy DJ TLM, you're watching DJ TLM TV and today's topic is the sync function. That's right. If you're a DJ and you use the sync function and you have traditional real DJs telling you that you're not a real DJ because you use the sync function, this video is for you. If you're one of these traditional DJs who are walking around talking about that you're not real if you're using sync, then this video is for you as well. Before we begin, a quick explanation. If you're watching and you don't know what the sync function is, when you're DJing and you want to mix two songs, then you have to make sure that the tempo of the two songs is the same. So normally you would have one song playing and on your headphone you would listen to the other song and you would adjust the pitch in order to get the tempo the same as the song that's playing so that they're, they're synchronized, they're matched, so you can make a mix. The sync function does this automatically. If you have your songs, if they're analyzed in the computer, so the, the computer knows the beats per minute, the BPM, the tempo, then the sync function can automatically beat match for you. So traditional DJs call this cheating. And to a certain degree, I can understand because if you're starting out and you learn to DJ in a traditional way, one of the first things you learn is how to beat match by ear. That's what you're practicing in your room, day in, day out, hours, 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 until you get it right. And once you get it right, it's a beautiful feeling to know that you can match two songs. So it's a part of the process of learning to become a DJ. And new DJs who start out with a little controller and they have the sync function, they skip that step. So I understand that you consider that cheating. In a way it is, but I can't be mad at it because it's new technology and if you're a kid now and you go to the store and you get your first controller and it has that function, of course you're gonna use it. It makes sense that you will use it. But I do have some advice for the people who DJ with sync and who don't know how to beat match by ear. Learn how to beat match by ear. Just imagine if you're playing in front of people and by whatever reason your sync function isn't working. What are you gonna do? That could be a tricky situation if you don't know how to beat match by ear. So it's always better to know how to beat match by ear as well, even if you use sync. Now back to these traditional DJs, and I did this real because a lot of the traditional DJs feel that they're real DJs just because they use vinyl and turntables. Um, yeah, whatever, that's a different discussion. I did that in the other video, the Keep It Real video. Um, a lot of you DJs, are mad because you feel that an essential part of being a real DJ beat matching has been just taken away. Think about this for a minute. Are you a good DJ because you can beat match? If your answer is yes, then you're dead wrong. You're dead wrong. I've been DJing for 20 years and I've seen hundreds of DJs who could beat match real well, but they were terrible DJs terrible DJs. Beat matching is just one aspect of being a DJ and it's not even that important. I must admit at first I felt that it was a bigger part of DJing than it really is but once you play more you find out that beat matching is just that little of importance. Because being a real DJ, said it in the other video, it's all about what you bring to the table. It doesn't matter what kind of equipment you use, it's how you use that equipment. So if you're using the sync functionality, then I hope that you're also being creative with the rest of the options that you have in your digital system. But it's about track selection, the energy that you can bring to the crowd with your music, uh, originality, extra skills, always a good thing. I mean, there's a lot of things in a club the crowd is not judging you by the way you beat match. So if you're beat matching by ear or using sync, as long as it sounds smooth, that's okay. If you mess up, then they're gonna notice. But you can mess up using sync as well because you can use the sync function, but you still need to know when you should do your mix. If you press sync, but you're mixing two hooks with vocals, at the same time blending those then that's going to sound like a mess as well and the crowd is going to notice so the crowd isn't really about that they just want to be entertained and beat matching is just a small part of it so i know it's a controversial topic for the traditional djs but i mean 
it is time to wake up and take a good look at what you're doing. I don't use sync. I have Serato Scratch Live now. And once I get my SL2 next year and I get Serato DJ 1.6, then I'll be able to use my digital vinyl system and I will have sync functionality. Chances that I'll use it are slim. I probably won't use it a lot. There might be certain circumstances, especially if I have four decks and I wanna have two or three beats matched at the same time while I'm messing around with an acapella or some samples. That would be more of a performance and the sync could probably help me out. Then again, it also depends on what kind of music you're playing. If you're playing like the, the dance music, where it's just the same drum pattern in every track and the BPM is almost always probably the same, that beat matching by ear isn't that hard either, but I wouldn't be mad if you use sync. If you're playing some old school stuff, like some soul or some funk, then you're not even gonna be able to use sync anyway. I play parties where I play stuff like that as well, and old school music like that isn't made with drum machines, it's made with real live drummers. So the drums are live and their tempo is not consistent throughout the track. So if you use sync on some old school soul, you're gonna be in trouble because the tempo is fluctuating throughout the track because the drummer is not as tight as a drum machine. So for house music, for dance music, that will work just fine. But for certain genres, the sync is probably not gonna work that well. My opinion is clear, I think. That's just my opinion. Use what you use, like I said in the last video. And if you wanna use sync, use sync. But whatever you use, be creative, have some originality and, and bring your own flavor to the table. So to the traditional DJs out there, I hope you just think about it, man. It doesn't make sense for you to be in every topic just complaining about, yeah, you have more respect for people if they use real vinyl. You should have respect for the DJ because he's good, not because he uses real vinyl, because a lot of DJs using real vinyl suck. They suck ass. So it's not about that, man. It isn't. That's all I have to say. I want to hear what you have to say. I already know this is going to be one of my videos with more dislikes than the rest of my videos because some of the traditional DJs watching got mad after my first sentence. It's all good, but let's share the knowledge and have this conversation. Like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel and I'll be back real soon with some beat matching by ear tutorials. Peace out.